think that's the end of our lesson two. So uh, we'll move into uh, lesson three. Uh, you know, or we've been talking about un and une, lo and la. And it, I know that because most, most of you are, are studying French for the first time, you get confused with when to use lo and when to use la. And like I said, that every article, every item around you, look around you, even ant, even the ceiling over your head, whatever you see around you is either masculine or feminine. So I know you are confused. How do you identify masculine and feminine object, uh, and objects so that you'll be able to use them uh, uh, easily and freely? Well, the, 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 we are going to give you a few um, tips on how to identify gender in French. Nouns, uh, how to identify specific nouns in French. Uh, the, the rules are simple. If you look at your book, you say most nouns that end in S-I-O-N, or, or in fact, almost all of them that end in S-I-O-N are feminine. You have, uh, you can see your examples, they have version, you have uh, television, they end in S-I-O-N. They are generally feminine. You have compassion. They are generally feminine. Commission, they are generally feminine. So you, you say la, commission, la, television, la, version. Or you say une version, une television, une commission. They are all feminine. Then you have words that end in T-I-O-N. They are ending. Because we use their ending to determine their gender. So where does that end in T-I-O-N? For instance, you have la nation. La nation, the nation, a nation, la nation. You have la traduction, translation. You have uh, uh, la notion, a notion. These are words that end in T-I-O-N. They are all feminine, but there's one exception to this rule. That exception is lo bastion. B A S T I O N. It ends in T I O N, but it is you call it, you use lo. That is the only exception to that rule. So once you know that it is only bastion that is masculine amongst all these words, these nouns, then you know that the general rule is that what nouns that end in T I O N are all feminine, except one, lo bastion. Then you have words that end in a I S O N. A I S O N. You have la raison. Raison. To be right. Reason. You have la terminaison. You have la cargaison. You have la maison. House. Okay. The end in A I S O N. They are all um, feminine. So, so you say la maison, la terminaison, la cargaison, uh, la raison. Or you, you can use un when you want when you do, when you don't want to be specific. Then you have well, nouns that end in a n c e, la connaissance. There are several of them. Just take note of their endings, and they will determine the endings will now determine their uh, gender. Then you have nouns that end up you that end in t uh, t e accenting. You want to go accenting you them with the forward looking in, accent. Uh, Beauty, uh, la gratuité, there are many of them. Yeah, there are, there are many of them. La santé, yeah, there are many of them. They are uh, all uh, feminine. Yeah, and even in that, you, you also have those that end in double, where they have a double E with the first E and the, with the accent. They, or they are all, they are generally uh, uh, feminine, except a few. Like you have le lycée, you have uh, le, le musée, you have uh, le trophée. There are just about three or four exceptions to that rule for words that end in T E accent aigu and T E double uh, T double E with accent aigu. Then you have words that end in T U D E. You have they are all in front of you. you have la, la multitude, la certitude, la plenitude, la, la attitude, la attitude, attitude, your attitude. There are many. So these are all examples. Then you have words that end in T U R E. T U R E, uh, la culture, l'agriculture, la nature, la facture, they are generally feminine. Generally feminine. So you have these uh, examples of um, nouns that you use 
or, or methods that you use to identify uh, gender of nouns. Then uh, for the masculine, how do you identify masculine uh, gender? It's it's uh, there there are the, 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 what we have here are for feminine generally for feminine. Then what, how do you identify the masculine? Uh, you have words that end in a s m e, words that end in a s m e, like you have marasm, marasm. Talk about stagnation, marasm, low marasm. That one is a s and it ends in a s m m e. You have words that end in i s m e, like coloniali colon colonialism. You have uh, 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 nationalism. Words that end in i s m e. They are all masculine. Then you have words that end in a c l e. Generally masculine, but you have a few exceptions that are feminine. Then you have words that end in m e n g, like Gouvernement. Gouvernement. It ends in M E N T. You have a um, department, like your department in the university, the department. It ends in M E N T. But that too, there's one exception. There's a, word, a noun that ends in M E N T, which is not masculine. It's not low. You don't use low. You use la. And that one is human. J U M E N T. Human refers to the female of a horse. So you, you talk about la human. It's a noun that ends in M E N T, but it is not masculine like the others. You have a few examples again, like a noun that ends in A I R E, like secretaire, commander, uh, many others. The end in A, I, R, V, they are all masculine. They are not they are masculine, they are not feminine. They are not feminine. M U M, like um, uh, Latin words, minimum, maximum. Those are masculine nouns. Words and uh, nouns that end in uh, B U M, they are masculine. Words that end in uh, nouns that end in A N T, they are generally masculine. So uh, these are just guides to help you uh, identify these objects.